I now call to order the first meeting of the Jacksonville Youth Council for this school year. Greetings to all those who are watching via television. We're here in the same chambers that the Jacksonville City Council meets in. The City Planning Board and other official bodies meet here also. We're proud to be a part of the official voice for the youth in the City of Jacksonville, and we take that responsibility seriously. For those of you watching on TV, we want to make sure that you're invited to take part in future sessions. The Youth Council is open to any student who is eligible to attend a high school in Onslow County and meets here on the first Thursday of each month. Over time, we have students from Northside, Southwest, Jacksonville, White Oak, Richlands, Swansboro, Dixon, and Lejeune. We have an exciting year ahead of us. We have a youth center that is readily available and some old staff that's returning to help us. We also have some ideas and some programs that the Youth Council has been involved with for years. It's going to be a good year and I'm really excited to get started. Welcome and thanks for coming or for watching. Now let's begin our meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance led by Robert Whaley and we ask that you continue to stand after the pledge for our invocation led by Elizabeth Nowlin. Would you please rise? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us here today. We pray for a good school year and a wonderful year of fun activities for the Jacksonville Youth Council. We pray tonight for an evening of fun, laughter, and fellowship. We also pray for safe travels home. Amen. Amen. May be seated. I want to welcome you to the first official meeting of the school year for Jacksonville Youth Council. This is a council that governs itself, decides what actions it will like to engage in, and offers advice to the elected officials of Jacksonville. Whether this is your first time or you've been a part of the Youth Council for years, you are welcome here. I've been involved with the Youth Council for some time, but no matter whether this is your fourth year participation or your first ever meeting, each of us who participates today are equally important. For those of us who have been privileged to be elected to lead this group, we'll introduce ourselves as we speak. Be sure to talk with us if you have any ideas, questions, or just want to talk about the Youth Council. As indicated, this council is open to all high school students in Onslow County who are in good standing, and all are welcome here. Thank you for coming, and let's hope for a great year. To help guide us, let me introduce all the officers currently elected for the Youth Council. There's a vacancy and some soon-to-be vacancies, and we'll talk about them later in the meeting. Hello, my name is Rian Heap, and I'm the chairman. To my right is Elizabeth Nellen, our vice chairman. To my left is Eric Gutierrez, our secretary. We have a vacant position for a recorder. Cheyenne Woods, who could not be with us here tonight, is the Southwest High School seat. And over to my right, we have Robert Whaley, who is our Jacksonville High School seat. Sean Warren, who could also not be here tonight, is an at-large seat. Mackenzie Worthington, who is our North Side High School seat and Ayumide Ojibobo, who is another at-large seat. I want to introduce some other people who help make these youth council meetings possible. We do have a lot of help with our work, so let me introduce them to you. The first person I would like to introduce is Mr. Glenn Hargett. He is the official liaison between the youth council and the city of Jacksonville. He helped form the youth council and has been with us since it began. Is he with us tonight? Oh, he's in another meeting, but if you guys get a chance to meet him, he's a great guy. Everyone loves him. Next, I'd like to introduce Ms. Carmela George, who is this lovely lady right here. <laughs> She's the Community Programs Coordinator with the City of Jacksonville and works with the Youth Council in preparation for meetings, events, and activities. In addition, Carmela welcomes you to contact her with any comment, suggestion, or question. And you can contact her at 910-938-6551. And again, that's 910-938-6551. The last person I'd like to introduce is Ms. Pam McIntosh, who works closely with the Youth Council behind the scenes in preparation for meetings, events, and activities. She's also not able to be here with us tonight, but help prepare for this meeting. You'll receive a call or two from her at some point during the year. We thank all of these people for their help. We also want to give a special thanks to you, the G10 Media Crew, who assists us all year long to make sure our meetings are televised. They are Mr. Alan Covey, Ms. Lisa Miller, Kevin Riopel, and Phil Mozilak. Thank you all so much. So the first thing we're going to start off with is a Jacksonville Youth Council overview. This evening you'll be asked to help chart the future for this term of the Jacksonville Youth Council. Your officers have worked to help provide a framework for this year, but we want your input into what actions you'd like to see for our future. 
Before we do that, we'd like to give you a quick overview of what the Youth Council is, what has done in the past, and then offer a personal perspective on how Jacksonville Youth Council has benefited us in the past few years, particularly for those of you who have not been here before. My fellow officers will help me in this presentation, and I now introduce Elizabeth Nallen. The Jacksonville Youth Council came to be because the youth asked for it. Some students were selected by their school to attend a community summit. They were asked to comment on various issues, and they came up with the idea that there should be a youth council. They wanted a voice for the youth, a connection to the government, and a chance to talk about their future. The city worked with the Onzo County School Board to make it happen, and today you are here as part of the Jacksonville Youth Council. You might ask why it is called the Jacksonville Youth Council, whether it is just for Jacksonville people or for select people. Actually, it was hoped that there would be many youth councils in the county, but the city of Jacksonville was the only one that reacted to the request. After several, several years of only allowing people in the Jacksonville area on the council, the Jacksonville Youth Council opened the Youth Council to any high school student in Onzo County. Again, to all of you, you are welcome here. You might ask what the Youth Council has done since 1998 when it held its first meeting. It can generally be divided up into these seven areas. Practicing governance, volunteering and helping charities, learning about the community, serving the community, creating opportunities for high school students, leadership development, and connecting youth from different schools. The practice of governance, how we operate in a democratic society, is very important. The Youth Council is empowered to select our own leadership and decide how we want to do things. We are a formal group, so there are elections, and officers take an oath before the Jacksonville City Council. Next, I will introduce Robert Whaley. Hello, everyone. Um, another area that Jacksonville Youth Council has worked with in the past is to help charities. The Youth Council has decided who it wants to help annually and whether it is in service or providing funds. Each year, the Youth Council has sponsored a Christmas Cheer Day where we gather to help this program that, needs, that helps needy children and their families. We've also helped other functions of Onzo Community Outreach, including the Soup Kitchen and the Free Clinic. We, are also, we also have the chance to meet with the leaders of our community, including the Onzo Commission and the people who work to bring industry and jobs for our community. I'm Mackenzie Worthington, and another area of activity has been to serve the community. Each year on the National Day of Service, Martin Luther King Day, we select a project to serve the community. We are open to ideas of what you may want to do this year. Since the beginning, the Youth Council has participated in the annual Make a Difference Day. The day is set for October 26th this year, and we will assist at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. The Youth Council also is asked to represent the youth at special functions. The Youth Council, represent, the youth Council represented youth at the 50th anniversary of the Korean War and were accompanied by other city representatives. Youth Council officers assist the Civic Affair Committee with the Pledge of Allegiance and their 9-11 Patriot Day observance. For many years, members of the Youth Council have represented youth at the annual observance of the Beirut bomb blast. We will do that again this year. I'm Ayomi Deoji Bobo. Another function of the Youth Council is creating opportunities for high school students. One of the findings was the need for a youth center. The Youth Council took that as issue to the Jacksonville Youth Council. City Council. The Youth Council told the elected leaders of Jacksonville that a youth center would be beneficial, help focus attention on youth, and serve forever as demonstration that this community cares about its youth. During the past two spring breaks, we held events within the center all week long. During the summers, we have had a series of events including the Empowerment Series, the Office Academy, and the other activities. The school year, this school year will be the fifth year that the youth center will be open for planned events throughout the sc entire school year. We look forward to seeing you at them. We will soon be announcing events and dates tonight and more at our next youth council meeting. Part of being an advocate for youth is to let others know that we exist. One way is to participate each year in the holiday parade. The Youth Council has connected youth from different schools through events like the Battle of the Bands, Youth Fest, Youth Summits, and Youth Center events. I'm Eric Gutierrez, so let's talk about our successes. The Youth Council has mentored and instructed young students as well as providing a positive influence for those students. The Youth Council has served the community by, by providing services and has helped charities in our community. The Youth Council has been a symbol for youth governance by elected 
its own leaders and providing a voice in our youth, in our community. Now I'd like to introduce Robert, Robert Whaley, the um, JHS, JHS seat. All right, so I'm back again. <laughs> um, we would like all of our, all of Onza County eligible high school students to participate not only in our youth council meetings, but any event that takes place at the youth center. In order to do this, we need your help. Perhaps you know of someone who could not be here today, or someone who, because of sports or other activity, cannot participate until next semester. That is fine. We want as many people to participate as possible in the Jacksonville Youth Council and Youth Council events. That's why we are developing a list of possible activities. Some will take place next spring and some will start now. There are activities and opportunities <coughs> excuse me, that everyone could get involved in as much as they want. Some of these other activities planned this year are Christmas tour drive. For nearly 40 years, Onzo Christmas Cheer has helped needy children and their parents. They do this by giving toys, food, and other needy items to help make Christmas a special time. They do this with items that are donated. It takes more than $25,000 to purchase. purchase food and toys not donated by others. We want to help. Christmas cheer needs new, unwrapped toys that are suitable for children of all ages. However, they are two trouble ages. Boys in the 12 to 12, I'm sorry guys. Um, boys in the 10 to 12 age and both girls and boys who are 13 to 15. For the teens, Christmas cheer needs items that are about $5 to $10 in value that can be used throughout the year. Something that sends the message you have been thought about. For 10 to 12 year old boys, the toys should also have a value of five to $10. Be safe to play with and not involve guns or violent activities. Beginning at our next meeting on October 3rd, we will, we will start collecting toys at every meeting. We'll have prizes for the best items each meeting until Christmas and we may start some special activities to really bring in the toys. Make a Difference Day is a national day of doing good. It's always the fourth Saturday in October and this year it's set for October 26th. The Jacksonville Youth Council has helped Onzo County activities work over the past years and this year we really want to help. In past years we, we helped with a giant yard sale that benefit, benefited the charities in our community, assisted at various charities and doing community cleanups. This year's activity is being discussed tonight in the planning session. In past years, we <laughs> we'll keep you informed about activities for October 26th. If you are interested now, let us know right after the meeting. You will have a sign-up sheet ready to indicate you're willing to help. Thank you. We are still working hard to plan out a series of events to take place throughout the school year, but we do need your help. Please see any of us after the meeting if you are interested in assisting. For those of you who are here to help us get to know each other better tonight, we want to engage in a special activity, which means we'll be taking a short break and just meet all of the executive committee right here on the center part of the floor. Thank you very much. activity we're going to be doing tonight is called body parts and basically what it is is I'm going to start it off and that means I'll say okay we need three right feet so then the closest three people that you have are going to put the right foot in and then you form a group so you don't want to be left out of the groups so let's say I say uh, two elbows and then you need to be like bam okay the idea is to scramble as minimally as possible right you guys ready for it can you handle it can you handle it no, if good. you can't find the group <laughs> 